हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल अनफॉक विद डॉक्टर अतहर परवीन सो ऑन द डिमांड ऑफ एस्परेंट्स हियर आई एम विद दी मैथमेटिक्स ब्लूप्रिंट फॉर एचएसटीआर रिक्रूटमेंट एग्जामिनेशन फॉर पीएम मेथड ओके सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ब्लूप्रिंट आई वॉन्ट टू मैंशन दट नवे डेज very oftenly in the news it is coming that hstr notification will be coming soon so aspirants who all want to get this job please start preparing right now because uh, uh, once the notification comes you will not have time more than 2 months okay so if you start now then at least uh, it will be easier for you to cover the syllabus and uh, if you really work hard you can get your name in the merit list for this job okay so on this note let us start uh, with uh, uh, what is actually this hstr uh, teacher recruitment exam see this is a high school teacher recruitment exam conducted by uh, karnataka government for uh, high school teacher job for a government job uh, it is conducted by school education department of karnataka previously it was conducted in 2015 after that uh, no exam was conducted uh, and uh, no recruitment was done for high school teachers that's why this time the 2024 notification becomes very very important because many aspirants are waiting since long time to appear for this exam and get this job okay so on the base of uh, 2015 question paper i have bought this uh, blueprint for you all okay now what is the pattern of this exam see the exam will have two papers paper 1 and paper 2 paper 1 will be general knowledge educational psychology general english and computer literacy along with the mental ability it will be a 2 hours exam and maximum marks will be 100 marks and the exam the entire exam even paper 1 and paper 2 it will be a mcqs based exam hstr exam is not at all having descriptive questions okay it is entirely based on objective type questions and uh, no negative marking okay many aspirants uh, were asking me madam this is descriptive or mcq so this is a objective mcq type questions will be there in this exam okay and negative marking will not be there in the exam now coming back to our exam pattern first paper to was paper 1 i told you about this next will be paper 2 paper 2 will be a subject specified paper if you are a pm method aspirant you will have physics and mathematics if you are a cb method aspirant you will have chemistry and biology okay so for this paper also you will have 100 marks and maximum hours will be 2 hours and this also will be a mcq based or objective questions examination okay clear right in this no 40 marks will be for physics okay and 40 marks will be for maths and 20 marks will be based on a methodology okay this methodology will be based on a pm method only okay clear right so on this note let us start by having a glance at what is the syllabus see this is a 2015 hstr syllabus and uh, i believe that this syllabus will not change for 2024 also because there is no much scope for this syllabus to be changed okay so if they add something in this syllabus it will go to puc level uh, teacher recruitment exam if they reduce the syllabus it will go to gpstr level that means the primary level teacher exam so there is uh, no scope for uh, change in this syllabus in 2024 also 99% this will be the syllabus if at all they want to change it will be very very minute change only uh, i think around 5% of syllabus will change if at all they want to change okay so more than that to there is no scope at all okay so this will be the syllabus for 2024 also okay so what is there in the syllabus for mathematics number system thirds sets progressions commercial mathematics statistics permutation and combination 
probability, basic concepts of algebra, polynomials, linear equations, exponents, quadratic equation, variation, basic geometrical ideas, triangles, quadrilaterals, polygons, circles, mensuration, trigonometry, coordinate geometry, symmetry and matrices. These 24 chapters are there in the syllabus for HSTR. Okay. Now I have been solving uh, this uh, 2015 question paper many times till now. So based on that research, I have made a blueprint. Okay. Now blueprint means from each chapter, how many questions will come? All questions are objective based. Okay. So if you know from which chapter, how many questions will come, it will be easy for you to prepare, right? Okay. So before starting the discussion on blueprint, uh, let me tell you that if you are interested in joining HSTR PM method paid classes, then you can mail us at atahar tet hstr courses at the rate gmail.com please note the spelling it is a t a h a r okay or you can write us a message in whatsapp our number is 9110558369 or we have a telegram channel and telegram group you will get the link in the description you can write to us there also okay you can join our telegram channel and you can interact with us in the telegram group so coming back for number system, I have seen uh, three questions in 2015 paper. Okay. Then uh, for suds, uh, one question. For uh, sets, uh, two questions. For progressions, two questions. For commercial mathematics, two questions. From statistics, two questions. From permutation and combination, one question. Okay. Then for uh, probability, one question was there from this chapter from basic concepts of algebra four questions were there actually see these basic concepts of algebra polynomials uh, these uh, come together only so it is uh, tough to differentiate exactly from which part they have asked the question it can be polynomial also okay anyway because i want to stress on this chapter of basic concepts of algebra because it's a very important chapter and uh, uh, very basic things are there to learn from this chapter. So I have uh, put to those questions in basic concepts of algebra only. Okay. Next uh, polynomials are uh, two questions. Basically together this uh, basic concepts of algebra, polynomials, linear equations and uh, exponents uh, and uh, of course quadratic equation. So for polynomials two questions were there from linear equations one question. Of course from exponents question was not there but uh, it's an important chapter only anyway. Uh, quadratic equation, two questions were there. You don't specifically see for a simple chapter, okay? Because that uh, single chapter is a part of algebra only, right? So entire algebra, if you take into account, uh, you are getting 10 marks for algebra. Okay. Then uh, variation, no question was there. From basic geometrical ideas also, no question was asked. But it's an important chapter because uh, all basic things of geometry you will learn in this chapter okay so what all comes in geometry triangles will come quadrilaterals will come later circles will come then mensuration will come okay all the construction part everything will come in geometry only uh, so that's why you can treat these chapters as geometry okay now seeing marks for triangles uh, they asked four questions from this and uh, see actually the fact that you can put triangle into polygons also specifically seeing the questions and uh, putting it in the chapter of triangles wherever triangle is there that way we are getting uh, four questions from triangles okay from quadrilaterals uh, one question from polygons one question see that's what i was telling what all will come in polygons uh, see in polygons i can put uh, triangles i can put uh, quadrilaterals in quadrilaterals also many types of quadrilaterals are there right that way i was telling you okay then uh, in circles uh, two questions were asked from mensuration two questions were asked mensuration also will become a very important topic because uh, in mensuration 
you will learn areas of circles okay not only areas you will learn uh, all the theorems uh, cyclic quadrilaterals uh, many more things you will learn in circles basically you will learn a part of mensuration of circles in the chapter of circles also in mensuration also okay like that only in mensuration you will also learn a part of triangles also like that only in mensuration you will also learn a part of quadrilaterals also okay so that's the reason why i was telling that it's a important chapter okay now coming back to trigonometry two questions okay so these uh, questions will be the common general expected questions only from trigonometry then coordinate geometry three questions were asked this is a uh, one of a very important chapter because uh, it is having very typical and important formulae like distance formula is there section formula is there slope formula is there equation for straight line is there okay so these uh, topics make this chapter very important okay then uh, symmetry no question was asked it's a very easy chapter if you skip also no problem then uh, matrices uh, two questions were asked so these were the number of questions asked from each chapter now keeping all this discussion in our mind we can decide which are the group of chapters which are to be given more importance see this part no you give first preference because this is very easy part and the most important part okay all the geometry part because there is no much conceptual thing to be understood very simple simple things are there and we have been doing from our school days so that's why this will give you a sort of confidence and enjoyment uh, in doing mathematics so that's why i am giving you suggestion to start with uh, these bunch of chapters of geometry okay so let me write uh, one here go for these chapters first okay so how many marks you will cover in total whole of 10 marks you will cover means 10 questions you can answer correctly if you learn these chapters and practice problems from these chapters okay make the list of formulae and uh, go for some uh, expected questions okay anyway if you are a paid class aspirant uh, in our course then to no problem at all because uh, we will be explaining everything in the class right we'll be giving notes also and uh, it will be very much helpful okay then uh, after going for this group of chapters no next you go for uh, this group of chapters this is a uh, basic concepts of algebra polynomials and number system okay why i am giving you uh, this group of chapters means this is also very easy and uh, most important so take this as a second group of chapters this way you will cover nine marks so you can answer nine questions correctly if you are perfect with these chapters okay then go for uh, these chapters trigonometry coordinate geometry matrices and progressions okay these are also very interesting chapters and much of concept is not there just to, you have to blindly follow the formulae and uh, if you practice nicely things will become very easy okay so if you cover these chapters group then you will be scoring how many marks nine marks again you can give nine questions answer correctly okay after this you go for uh, these chapters okay see linear equations quadratic equations though are like uh, logically based questions also may come from this part okay exponents though is very very easy we have been learning this from primary right so things should go very easily commercial mathematics also if you feel that it is tougher you can uh, skip uh, some part of the syllabus here and there depending upon uh, what is important and what is not important okay so here you will be scoring five marks i mean to say you can give correct answers for five questions if you be perfect with these chapters okay at last go for these chapters so the last which you are going to prepare for are thirds sets statistics permutation and combination variation symmetry and probability okay so this is the plan which i have made for you all if you all like it please follow it and let me know your views on my plan 
just write down in the comment section and also let me know what type of uh, video do you want next because many aspirants are asking madam which textbooks we should read for hstr so if you want a video on that uh, then please do let me know in the comment section and uh, also please note that i will be making the next video only when i get minimum of 100 likes for this video so you should share this video as much as possible among your friends and other hstr pm method aspirants and uh, also if you have not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe okay thank you all the best bye